Hello and welcome everybody. I'm MTG Gaming Bob. Thanks for stopping by. I have some exciting news today. It's our first giveaway. We've surpassed our first 25 subscribers. I'm super excited about that. Also, I'm going to cover some ways that you can protect yourself in today's market when buying some older cards. So stay tuned. So as you can see, we've got a box of Core 2021 today that I'm going to open. I'm going to grab a couple of packs out of here, and I'm going to be giving away the Mythics and Rares out of it to one of the viewers that subscribed and left some comments in previous videos. We're also going to go over some changes I'm going to make to the giveaway process. Um, so let's go ahead and get started on that right away. Go ahead and open it here. As I told you before in one of my previous videos, I do not like scarring up the boxes because I oftentimes keep them for storage. And we're going to go ahead and open this box. We have cracked the seal. All right. And so we are going to grab the first two packs that we see. And give me a moment while I change the setup so you can see the overhead view. Okay, let's crack these packs and see what we got for our first winner. Let's hope we get some really good stuff. Would like it to be exciting for our first giveaway. This would be great. I don't really know the layout of the packs here. Well, there is <laughs> the answer to that. That is a ghostly pilferer for our first rare. So maybe we'll slow roll it on the next pack. And all the rest doesn't really matter, just to make sure. Nothing special, nothing special. A bunch of commons. Let's see if we can't step it up on this next pack. And we're going to slow roll this a little bit more. All right. So we're going to go through the commons. Our uncommons. And so the next one should be our rare for Mythic. And, oh, not bad, a Feline Sovereign. That sees some play in some cat decks out there. Could be an interesting combo card for you. And that is it. Unfortunately, we did not get a Mythic today, but that is it for our first giveaway. We got the Feline Sovereign and the Ghostly Pilferer. So let's see who it is that won today. Let me just put these out here like this. Okay. And you can see our contestants here in the list. And we're going to go ahead, shuffle that up a couple times, and give it a spin. Let's see who wins. Looks like Matt Becker. Congratulations, Matt Becker. Uh, please contact me at my email in the links down below, and uh, we'll get these cards off to you in the mail. Congratulations again. Thanks for your comments, everybody. Okay, so the next giveaway is going to be at 50 subscribers, and every 25 thereafter till at least 500 subscribers. So what I need everybody to do is to comment in this video and I'll leave a link for this video in all subsequent videos until we reach the next mile marker of 50 subscribers. And that's just to make it easier so that I don't miss anybody. I would hate to do that. For the next segment here, I'm going to cover something that hopefully will help protect some people out there. And what I've got here is a proxy tropical island and a real tropical island. So some of the things I'm going to cover right away just to try to protect yourself to determine <clears throat> whether you not you've gotten a proxy or a real card. This is a real card that I got from a reputable dealer. And one of the things that I start with is looking at the back and it's going to be doing what I call the sheen test. So if you look, I don't know how well this is going to come out on video here. Hopefully we can catch some light, but you'll see that the light reflection on the proxy card here in my left hand is much glossier. It's a very smooth looking card. And when you look at the real card, it's kind of diffuse. And there's a bit of a texture that 
really you can only feel, so I can't relay that to you here on video. Um, however, on the front side, they're very difficult, especially if you don't have a real one to compare it to. It'd be very difficult to determine the difference between the two. So what do you do? Well, I got this light detector wand. Well, that's what I call it. It's really just like a hand wand. It's an LED. You can get any variety that you want. I recommend probably not getting one quite as large as I've got here. This, uh, this would blind you, and I don't want to turn it on and blind you right now. So I created this little slip cover for this video. And I'm just going to make it so that it doesn't blind you all when I'm looking at single cards. I'm going to have to shut off all the lights so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about with the light test. So hang on, and we're going to switch all the lights off. Okay, you're going to want to have it nice and dark for this particular test. You're going to be looking for the patterns and the transparency that you see through the cards. I'm going to turn it away from the camera while I turn the light on because it gets pretty doggone bright. So the first card I'm going to show you on the light test is a legitimate real card. And hopefully I don't blow out your eyeballs here. But what I want you to notice, I don't know how well this is coming through, that you can see pretty cleanly through the card. You can read the text. You can see the nice Wooberg pattern easily, the dots on the back side of the card. You don't see any funny striations with the glue through it. And the color that's coming through is relatively clean, a whitish bluish light because it's a whitish blue light, whitish bluish light behind it. Again, this is what a legitimate card looks like. I'm going to turn away so it doesn't blow your eyeballs out. Now I'm going to show you one of the proxies that I purchased and notice the distinct difference when looking through the card of how dark it is. It's almost a yellowish light coming through on that one. I don't know how well that's coming through on the camera. You can see it's very, very dark compared to the legitimate card. Hard to see the Wooberg pattern. So I hope this is not blowing your eyeballs out. See how dark it is? Very difficult to see through the card. I'm going to try to show both of them side by side on the light wand, and that should be fairly easy to determine the real card from the proxy. Do you see how clearly the light comes through on this top upper card versus the light coming through on that bottom card? It's a little difficult to do this, but hopefully that's a clear enough example when you're trying to do the light test on a real card versus a proxy card. The kind of yellowish versus the white light, very difficult to see through the proxy. Additionally, you can detect things like re-glued cards. And you see strange glue patterns with this test. Okay, so hopefully you found that light test useful. You could pick one of these up, like I said, around 15 bucks for this one. There's some that are cheaper. Um, but you want to do it in a dark environment, like I had. One of the other tests that you can do is to look at the rosette pattern, especially on the back. There's other things that you can look for. Other people have covered that in depth on other channels. Uh, you can get one of those little jeweler loops and check for those patterns specifically on the, on the backs of the cards. Once again, I want to congratulate Matt Becker. Matt Becker, please get in contact with me so I can get these cards out to you right away. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, and I'll catch you next time. Have a great day.